Hi everyone, this is Tatiana Moroz with Bitcoin Magazine and I'm here with Jin Young Lee England from the Bitcoin Foundation. Thank you for joining me today. Of course, thanks for having me. So uh, me and Jin, we just met last night and we were talking a lot about what is the future of the Bitcoin Foundation and a little bit of rebranding that you guys are doing. Why don't you tell me a little bit about that because I really liked what you had to say. Great. Um, so, you know, a lot of our rebranding efforts actually started when John was still our executive director. One thing that was really important to us was um, revamping our website because the previous one was totally hard coded. So someone like me who doesn't know how to code a website, I couldn't update anything. Like I couldn't put up a press release. I couldn't. It was really hard to put up a blog post. I couldn't put up, you know, who was new on the team. I had to use um, a coder. And so we moved everything to WordPress. We did a totally new redesign. Um, and one of the most important things for us that we felt was important to mainstream people was um, helping to put a human face to the Bitcoin technology. And that's why on our website and in um, all of our marketing materials, you'll see the faces of the people that the technology eventually helps. Excellent. Great. So are you guys working with any charities or what are you guys working on? So, so we're not a charitable organization. We're a 501c6, so we're a trade organization. Um, we love BitGive Foundation. They actually work with charities. Yes. Um, and we're actually working with BitGive Foundation to participate in this year's International Day of Giving on December 2nd. So guys, there's um, Bitcoin Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and then December 2nd is what we're going to call Bitcoin Giving Tuesday. So we hope you participate. Excellent. Great. So um, so I guess Connie will help you guys figure out what charities it will go to from there. Yes, absolutely. So like BitPay already does a really great job, so does Coinbase, in um, helping nonprofits understand the monetary value of accepting Bitcoin donations um, and how that positively ultimately impacts more lives. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to um, help these nonprofits that accept Bitcoin get awareness and hopefully receive some Bitcoin on that day. Excellent. I like it a lot. Um, what's your favorite thing about Bitcoin? So my favorite thing about Bitcoin, um, my background is in international development. I started out in Mozambique and um, we would work with a lot of orphans and a lot of widows. And these widows, like they would live in mud huts, middle of nowhere, they'd have like no access to clean water, they wouldn't even have electricity in their hut, but they had a mobile phone. And the way they stored what little money they had was just inside their bra, which is not safe and it's not very secure. Like it would get stolen, it would get lost, it would get destroyed. Um, and so when my friend told me about Bitcoin and I saw the opportunities for how it can um, open economic opportunities specifically for women in developing nations, I, I, I was sold. Excellent. Very cool. And what, what's your favorite thing about Money 2020? Meeting people like you. <laughs> I feel like I've been emailing with so many people in the Bitcoin community. And now I like have a face to put to a name and I've actually met you and I, I love it. It's great. Excellent. Great. So where can people keep up with the foundation? Um, our website, um, bitcoinfoundation.org, brand new website, um, but also our Twitter feed. We try everything that we have from new press releases, new blog posts to interviews, speaking engagements. We schedule it and get it all out on Twitter so that you have easy access to everything that we do. Excellent. Thank you very much for joining me. Great meeting yeah, you. Thank you so much. Awesome. <laughs> Good.